Hey guys, it's Alex from San Remo Australia. And today we're gonna to be talking about the cleaning and back flushing procedure on the San Remo U. So firstly, what you wanna do guys is that I usually take out my double porta filter. That's the double spouted that's included in your accessory box. I take it out from under the machine and I like to use the single spout porta filter that is supplied. And what you wanna do is put the blind filter basket inside of that single spout porta filter. Our machine is already up at temperature and the first step is, is we're gonna take our caffetto and we're gonna mix just over a fingernail of caffetto. We're then gonna mix it with warm water from our steam boiler. And I like to take the cleaning brush that's supplied in our accessory box and stir so that it dissolves inside that warm water. Once it's dissolved, we're gonna put it inside the group head, which is warm. And now that it's sitting there, you wanna let it sit for two minutes. So now that it's been two minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our menu screen and we're gonna to touch the three lines at the top of the screen. Then we're gonna scroll down to wash and we're gonna start the cleaning procedure. It has instructions on the screen for the cleaning procedure, but just know that once you start this procedure, you have to finish the procedure. So before we start the procedure, we're just gonna check. We have a full water tank. We have an empty drip tray and our work area is clean of anything that can get in the way of water splashing around. So first it says add detergent in blind porta filter and engage into group head, press confirm button. We've done that with our caffetto and it's been sitting in the group head for two minutes. So once we start, it's gonna start the washing procedure, which is turning on the pump at full power on and off. It's gonna do this 15 times. What you're gonna see in the bottom of the drip tray is the solenoid opening as it releases pressure from the group head. Now we finished step two, which was the wash in progress procedure. Now we're moving on to step three, and it's gonna tell us to remove our porta filter and start rinsing. So what we're gonna do is remove our porta filter and empty it inside of the drip tray. Then once we click confirm, it's gonna start just flushing the group head. And now it will say the rinse in progress, which is step four, and this will go on for five cycles. Now we're on to step five, which is the rinse completed. We've finished our rinse, we're just gonna click tick, and we're gonna just wipe our drip tray area. And now we're gonna remove the bottom drip tray and we're gonna pour it into our sink. So guys, now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is cleaning our steam wand tip. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this weekly or even bi-weekly, depending on the usage of the machine. So firstly, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna grab a cloth, our microfiber cloth that's found in the accessory box of the U, and we're gonna grab the steam tip once we lean it up and we're just gonna turn it to the left. And as we turn it, we're gonna feel that Teflon pipe inside. And once we get to the bottom, we're just gonna slowly wiggle it out. And we now have our steam tip loosened. If you can see in there, there is a little bit of milk that has hardened over time from use. What we're gonna do is gonna put this to one side. We're gonna get some caffetto powder, about a half scoop into a cup. And we're gonna take warm water from our steam boiler. Now that we've got warm water and confetti that's mixed, I'm just gonna give it a little stir, and we're gonna drop our steam tip in that warm water confetti solution. Now our steam tip has been sitting in that solution for about five minutes, and it's really loosened up all the milk solids around the steam tip. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna pour it, and it's hot into our drip tray, and then our tip's gonna come out. Could be a little bit warm after sitting in that solution, so we're just gonna grab it using our microfiber towel, and we're gonna see that our milk Solids are all loosened and we're gonna wipe it down with our microfiber towel and it comes off extremely easy. Now, reinstalling the steam tip, we see that there is a Teflon tube inside that just protruding from the bottom of the steam wand. And once we feel that it connects through and our thread has connected with the inner thread, we're gonna slowly turn it to the right. Hand tighten, perfect. Now, we're just gonna to wanna to run our steam wand and it's all clean. So now guys, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is cleaning our shower screen inside of our group head. What you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have a porta filter that's inside of the group head, remove it. And then we're gonna take our tool that is included in the accessory box, which is the shower screen brush. We're gonna brush around the outside of the shower screen for any coffee residue that's left over inside of thread. And then we're gonna use the other end to remove the shower screen. Remember, our machine is powered up and it's hot, so we don't wanna to touch that with our bare hands. 
And what we're gonna wanna do is lightly push using the tip of our tool from either end to loosen the shower screen. We're gonna move to the other end and we're just gonna push again. And once our shower screen drops into the drip tray, that's when we know that it's removed. Now our shower screen is dropped with our shower screen seal. And what we're gonna to wanna to do first is inspect the seal for any signs of wear or cracking. And that means if there is wear or cracking, that it's time to replace the seal. The U takes a 58 millimeter seal. And then the next step is that we're gonna to wanna to check the shower screen for any signs of coffee residue. And if we do, we're gonna take our microfiber towel and we're just gonna wipe the inside of our shower screen. If you find that any coffee residue is stuck in between the disbursement screen and its little fine mesh holes, what you're gonna to wanna to do is similar to our steam tip, we're just gonna get some caffetto, just a half scoop, put it in a cup and take water from our steam boiler. Now let that warm water solution dissolve again. And what we're gonna do is just place our shower screen two to five minutes into that solution to loosen up all that coffee that's stuck in the disbursement screen. Now our shower screen has been in that solution for two minutes. We're just gonna empty that solution into the drip tray. We're just gonna take our shower screen, which might be a bit warm, and we're just gonna wipe it down. Now we're gonna take our seal and we're gonna pop it in to the shower screen like so. And to refit it, what I like to do is take a second basket and an existing group handle. This one has a basket inside. We're gonna remove it. And now we're gonna put the seal inside. I'm just gonna tightly put it up until it's locked in there, nice and tight. Now our seal's locked in. We're just gonna check it one more time with a basket inside of the porta filter. Tight. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.